<laughs> my service note. This is Mark Kennedy. He served in the Marines in Vietnam. It was there that he took a life and his was forever changed. This is his story. Vietnam was starting up and I was the oldest of six kids and my parents couldn't afford to send me to college. Even though college was a good idea, Mark decided to serve his country. They told me that I was uh, qualified to do anything I wanted in the Marine Corps and I could work on jets or anything. And I said, can I just walk around and be a Marine? His dad had other ideas. He was afraid that going into the infantry, I'd just be cannon fodder in Vietnam. And but Mark went to Vietnam anyway. Eventually, the fears of his dad were realized when Mark met this man in a trench. We, we knew this guy didn't fit. He was not from that village and we just knew he didn't fit. So I started over to talk to him and he took off running. Mark could have shot the guy, but... But I wanted to talk to the guy and find out what was going on in this area. The guy didn't want to talk. So Mark chased him into a trench and jumped in after the guy. So I talked to him and told him to stand up and to surrender Chu Hoi, and he, uh, he ducked his head back. Mark continued down the trench and then heard the sound of a bitch box. It's just an unmistakable sound. It's an electrical generator, a little handheld generator that generates an electrical current. And when you, uh, they call it the bitch box because when you hear it, it's a bitch. You're in trouble. It was a command detonator mine that he had set there and he ran me into it. And it blew up behind me and it blew me out. And I fell out and I'm laying there and it added a whole new meaning to burning your butt up. You know what I'm saying? And it was really hurting and stinging and everything. And so I looked around and I saw my rifle laying over here and I started crawling to get my rifle. And he jumped up and started shooting at me with an AK-47 emptied the magazine at me, hit me one time in the leg, and I had six hand grenades. And so what I did was I started walking them. I threw one on the, behind him over here and walked them like this towards him. I just stepped up with my rifle and drilled him. I had what was in his pocket right over his heart, and you can see where the M16 round went in and where the blood is spattered. And, when they got all the intelligence information out of this, they sent it, sent it home to me, sent it to me. I had a very good radio operator, Shorty, been with me for a while, and for whatever reason, when it came time to call in the medevac to get me out of there, all of a sudden he was like, he sounded like Porky Pig. He was like, it, 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 it. he couldn't even talk. And so I had to call in my own medevac, which I should have died that day. But I've had a lot of time to think about why I didn't die. And I, I think the Lord wanted me to straighten my wife out. And I got miles to go before I sleep. <laughs> After Vietnam, Mark eventually joined the Murray Postal Service as their postmaster. But this postmaster has letters that were never delivered. That packet of letters in his enemy's pocket, it reminds him that we are all human, even our enemies. And he was a member of the, the P-43 Severe Sapper Battalion, and his name was An Long, 